What do you hear? What do you say? This is Vertigo bringing you another Seven Days to Die video. And it's a brand new season. This is my fourth season. It's my fourth wipe of uh, Seven Days to Die. And we are mixing this one up big time. Because by popular demand, we are playing on a modded server. And these are the mods that we're playing with. We have 15 brand new zombie types, ranging from not too bad to absolutely terrifying and pretty much mini boss fights. The difficulty in general has been increased, so blood moons are going to be even harder than usual. The talent tree has changed a little bit. We've added prestige points so we can customize our character just that little bit more. And to round it all off, we have two perks per level just to balance out the difficulty a little bit because this is a much more difficult version of the game. But anyway, with that all out of the way, enjoy the brand new season. Wanna fucking die, you dickhead? Oh no. I'm already nearly fucking dead, you believe this shit? I've suffered a concussion? Oh my god. What a start, what a start! I see... a building. Oh, it's just a little caravan in the middle of goddamn nowhere. Oh, there's a workbench. Hey, a shovel! Perfect. Dig it up. That's not bad, eh? A little bit of cement on the first night. Never hurt anybody. Eek. All right, what's in here? Anything in the re retro refrigerator? Uh, trash and trash. We can scrap that, though. Hey, some bullets. Oh, what's this? Mushroom spores. Uh, use that. And cooking grill. Take that, yeah. Oh, there's like a little fucking bag here. Gun? Hey, 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 hey. Apart from the concussion and the infection, I was actually doing relatively well at the beginning of this wipe. I mean, maybe finding a blunderbuss is trivial to you, but to me, finding any form of firearm is always a great start. And I was going to need it, because not only was I playing on a harder, modded server, my livestream audience got to vote on which biome I was going to build on this wipe. And they chose the fucking snow biome. Thanks, guys. We're going to be building in the snow. So it's even gonna, it's gonna be even more deadly, okay? Um, so here's what I'm thinking. We need to find, like, I don't know, if a military base or just something that isn't a house, something that's actually got some kind of inbuilt defenses, at least a starting point for us. That way we're not completely fucked on the first horde night. It's gonna be very important. So we, uh, we're gonna need some luck. We're gonna need some luck when we get into the snowy biome. We need to hopefully, fingers crossed, Hopefully we find something decent. Ooh, wrong one. Okay. We don't have much time to find the snow and build a base, so um, let's just leave now. We'll be fine. What the fuck? Back inside. Back inside. <laughs> Reload. Fuck it, I blocked it in. It wasn't fine. We, we, we actually fucked. Okay, I think we got away. We're good. Oh my god, a straw snowberry plant, which means we must be getting near the snow, right? Hey, another house! Finding warm clothes before reaching the snow biome was essential. Warm? Puffer. Cold resist. 23, that's fucking wild. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. I can't under undervalue how important that fucking find was. That's great, that's brilliant. Let's see something real quick. Hey, look, hey, look, there's the snow! We're, we're there, we're there, we're there. I don't have enough health to fuck around, so let me just creep around. Fucking zombie! Ah. I had only been on the server for about 20 minutes, and I could already tell this was gonna be a rough ride. Why is there so many zombies already? Oh my god, the harder difficulty is really kicking in already. It was only day two, and I was having as much trouble now as I would usually have on, like, day 30. God, here we go. Cold temperatures. This is my first time in the snow. I'm actually a little nervous, but I think we'll be fine. This is it. We're in the snow. Um, There's a house over there. We should probably check out. Man, it's so bright out here, though. My God, it's like burning my eyeballs. The snow biome had challenges that I was not used to really facing in Seven Days to Die. Of course, I had to compete with the temperatures and keep myself warm, but it also had lumberjack zombies. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. Of course, they were very, very intimidating, and trust me, they were a pain in the ass to kill. Much harder than the regular zombies. Wanna play games, mate? We'll play fucking games. 
I'd love to be able to sit here and say that the Lumberjacks were the biggest threat I was going to face in this gameplay session, but that would be a lie. The truth is, the Lumberjacks, as dangerous and as scary as they were, were far from the biggest threat I was going to face in this season. Hey, I got him! Dude, it feels so, like, isolated out here. I don't know. Are we going to be able to survive this? What is that over here? What is that? Let's keep heading this way. I don't know what that is, but I want to find out. Is this a town? This would be great if it's a town. Looks like it could be. Okay. I can work with this, maybe. Finding a town in the snow biome was a godsend. I knew for a fact they didn't always spawn in the snow, so finding one was a really big step in the right direction to me actually surviving this series. Where there's buildings, there's potential bases, there's also traders, and of course, I can loot. Right, let me check this fucking house real quick. Uh, of course, you guys have to be in here. Why can you just let me be? Come on, man. I'm hearing a bunch of zombies. Oh, God, Lumberjack! Fuck. Mate, can we, can we come to... Um. Um. I know why you picked the snow now. You fucked me. You fucked me. How am I gonna live? How am I gonna survive? There's a fucking lumberjack coming. Oh my god. Fuck the snow, dude. Oh, he can climb. Oh, you piece of shit. Hold on, lumberjack. Please. Uh, we can work this out. Uh. Alright. Load it! Oh god. This is fucking terrifying. Piss off. <laughs> Could you please back away? Oh yes. Damn. Okay, they went right through his skull, okay? They can move, they can place. He's gotta be close. Let's sledge him. Sledge him! That's right, bitch! I've dominated you. Like the bitch that you are. Day two was already halfway over, and I had yet to find myself a base location. Instead, I found myself huddling around a campfire to keep warm and to keep myself fed. This was true survival. There's got to be something out. Just something like a military base. Is that too much to ask? Something that has a fucking wall, ready to defend, ready to go. Is that too much to ask, game? It was getting dark, and I had to find shelter for the night. Oh, bitch! Whoa! Oh no! E Fuck! Fucking don't fall in the hole! Oh! Fucking quick, dude! Oh, great. Man. Fuck up! Get the fuck up the ladder! <sighs> okay, okay. Yes, ammo. Thank fucking God. Oh boy. There we go. The medical supplies, fantastic. As an attempt to try and stop the zombies from getting up into the attic, I decided to destroy the ladder. Okay, all right, they can't get up. 
They can't get up. Okay. We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. Alright, grab the cement. Oh. Fucking bitch! Where the fuck did you come from? You dead? Where the fuck were you? Oh my god. They're everywhere. I can... There's a chest there. There's a chest. Uh, yep. Give me something. Uh, yeah, that's good. This is good. I got six shots on this. Dude, there's so many zombies down there. Shit. Oh, there's a safe. Um, we can break this. At this moment in time, I felt safe and secure. I guess, usually, in this situation, I would be. But I had forgotten one crucial thing. There were 15 brand new zombie types. And I was about to meet one. What the fuck is that? It's not even Horde Night, bro. It's not even... This is not funny no more. I, I don't know. I don't know how to handle the situation. This is like a horde night. This is insane. How are we gonna survive horde night? I don't know how we can do this. Shit. Come on. I, I I need a gun. I need a legit gun. Not a fucking not blunder but. It's a devil fucking spawn, man. What the f- It was at this moment that my live audience started to lose a little bit of hope. Perhaps the verts had bitten off a bit more than he could chew. But I didn't want to give up. To me, the whole point of Seven Days to Die is conquering certain death. This was going to be a challenge, but I welcomed it. Now we're at, we've got a challenge, okay? And everyone's, uh, everyone's scared of a challenge. You know what? I'm not scared of a challenge. I welcome it. I began venturing further and deeper into the snow biome, really just hoping and praying that I would find some form of base, something that I could defend from right now. Because the truth was, I didn't have time. I didn't have time to build a base. I didn't have time to fortify a house. I needed to find something that was defendable. Even if it was complete and utter trash, I just needed something to grasp onto, something that would give me hope that I could survive in this harsh environment. We found something. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. There could be something here. There could be something here for us. There's got to be something here for us. There has to be. I don't believe that this entire town doesn't have anything good. We have to choose wisely. What's that up ahead? I like that. I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, I love that! Oh, shit! I think we found our place. I think we, found, I think we just found our place. I think we just found our place. This is actually interesting. This is very interesting. Yep, got a door. This is, this, this, this could be it. Depending on what's up here, this could be it. Let's have a look. It's got a hatch! Okay, there's a little bit of water in here we've got to get out. That's not a big deal. You know what? This might not be a, a seven day, like a, a, a permanent base, but this is going to be what we're going to use for the, the first horde. I think we can survive up here. What is this? Is this concrete? Metal. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is good. I can work with this. I can work with this. This will work. This is going to work. We don't even have to really do anything with this base. We, I think we can survive Horde Night as it is. So we can spend the next seven days just gearing up. And then once we're ready, we can start building a custom base. We're building a custom base. 100% building a custom base. We're going to build it right there. Right there. Or maybe there. This is going to be our Horde Night defense until we build the base that we want. I also discovered if I dug underneath the ladder, I could destroy the first few rungs. That would give me extra defense. They, those just those just fell away, and now we can jump up, and the zombies can't get up. This is fucking brilliant, guys. We're gonna fucking make it. We're gonna survive. I knew it. Okay. What we should probably do with our points? I'm thinking. Last time I put my points into boomstick. I'm not gonna do that this time. 
I want to, I want to, I want to do rifle. So I think what we should do is put points into skull basher to make ourselves hit harder with sledges. That way we can save more ammo. I think that's probably the strat. Okay, the loot room, baby. Oh, ho, ho, ho. stick of dynamite schematic. Silver, gold. Yep, 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 yep. That's all great stuff. He's dead, dead. You're dead, dead. We're living the dream. I was beginning to hit my stride. Going out and getting loot, heading back to the base, dumping it off, going back out, getting loot, coming back, dropping it off. I was even getting better at dealing with the more difficult zombies. Gotta be calm. Just gotta be calm. You can outthink them. They're not fucking smart. Remember that. Remember that. They're stupid. Gotta take it easy. Just gotta take it easy. Pick them off one by one. Okay. There you go. And that's how you clear out a bunch of cultists. Ooh! There we go. There we go. Alright, let's fucking roll. Treasure time! Alright, the treasure is just here. Oh my god, why'd it have to be in a fucking mountain? No, there's no doubt in my mind. We're just doing fantastic stuff. Let's do this. Nice, nice, nice. Crap. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. After finding the buried treasure, I headed over to a trader. Not only would this get rid of the tutorial quest that was still on my screen, but the trader could also maybe have items that would allow me to progress at a more rapid rate. He's got an AK for 4,000. I can afford that. He's got bicycle parts. I think we buy the AK, right? He's also got a pistol we can buy. We're going to buy both. Buy an AK. And buy a pistol. Look what we got, boys. Look what we fucking got. Okay. <laughs> This is day one! We got an AK! Well, not day one, but yeah, first first week horde, we got a fucking AK. That's what I'm talking about right here. It was a double-edged sword. Yes, I had an AK because I was making much more money because I was out looting for a lot of my time playing. But I wasn't spending any time on my base. I was really, really banking on the water tower being able to hold off the horde by itself. It was a risk, but it seemed to be paying off. We're just getting started. Horde nights in a few days. Oh, actually, a couple days. Not that far away at all, actually. Thought we had more time than that. Son of a bitch. Although things were going pretty smooth, I was about to see something that was going to give me tunnel vision. Which, admittedly, could very well ruin my entire chance of survival. Alright, please, have a repair kit. Ooh, a bellow! Oh shit, that's kind of good, right? We kind of want- that's- I didn't even get one of those in my last playthrough. They're rare. Those are rare. I'm pretty sure they're rare. It's for forging smelting speed. Yeah, grab that. That's fucking great. Grab that. Uh, generator banks are also pretty fucking dope. Uh, about double barrels also pretty... Oh, mini bike. 12,000. Oh, shit. We can do this. We can totally do this. With my goal set, I had to make enough money in order to buy the mini bike. So I made my way back to the abandoned mine shaft where I fought the lumberjack earlier and was hoping I could find some diamonds or gold. But unfortunately for me, it was only a coal mine and there was nothing of real value down here, at least not enough to even get close to buying myself a mini bike. I think it is a coal mine. No. Don't do me like that game. I was so excited. But I was determined. I knew if I got myself a mini bike, it was just the edge I was looking for. I had so much going against me, the difficulty, the elements of just the weather, I needed this. I wanted it so badly. And it was all I focused on. Hey, another map. Fuck yeah. We're gonna get the treasure. We're gonna get the treasure. I don't know if it's gonna give me enough for the motorbike, but it's gonna get me close, I'm sure. Ow. Here I was, day six, only one day away from the horde. Was I gathering ammo? No. Was I fortifying my base? No. I was digging for treasure. I don't know what got hold of me, but it was unbreakable. Okay. Give me some dukes. Give me some dukes. Give me some dukes. Yes. How much was it for the fucking bike again? 15? We're so close. We are so fucking close. We can loot stuff on the way and probably have enough. So honestly, we can probably do it. We could probably do it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We haven't got much time. Grab that. Come on. Nice. Yep, replace that. 
Oh, yes. Silver and diamond. Oh, not diamond. Sorry, gold. That's fucking brilliant. Okay. Okay. That might give us what we need. That might give us what we need. I had to do it. I couldn't afford dying right now. You're going to make it? Of course I'm going to make it. Who do you think this is? Who do you think you're watching here? I always make it. Mini bike, 11,000. Oh, okay, so we're going to sell all this. Sell. Sell. Okay, we got the bike. We got the bike, okay. Now, do you have any fuel? Dude, I want that cement mixer. All right, we got a bike, we got a bike, we got a bike, we got a bike. But at what cost? Yes, I had a bike, but now I found myself frantically running around looking for ammo on night six. Let's go into the uh, the church here, see what's inside. Ooh, a little secret under here, huh? I, I, can I please stop being fucking hit? Thank you. Chest. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. These are good things. These are good things. They're definitely inside. Oh my god. Oh my god! Let me paint this picture for you. I was dead. My body was about a 5 to 10 minute walk away from my base. I had no guns because I was carrying them all. I had no ammo because I was carrying it all. I had no vehicle. I was carrying the motorbike. And it was about to be day seven. And all I had was the clothes on my back. And I had to make my way to my body before the loot despawned. Why are cougars spawning around the house and going inside there anyway? It's still there. See, it's still there. It's still there. Oh my god. Oh my god. And there's a bear. And there's a bear. Oh my. <sighs> This is not funny. This is why are you laughing? This is not fucking funny. It's not funny. There's nothing funny about this. Bring a weapon. I've got no fucking weapon, dude. I'm carrying all my we all my weapons from my fucking body. We're gonna take a fucking bone knife against a bear. No, I just have to not. I just have to get lucky and not run into a fucking bear. And I've got no clothing on, so I'm gonna fucking die of cold. Everything that I've worked for for is on my body. Every, the, the, the last four, four fucking hours, four or five hours is all on that fucking body. The tools, the guns, the fucking bike, everything. No bear. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Not slow down. I am fucking stressed. We're gonna laugh about this. We're gonna laugh about this in about three minutes time. We're gonna laugh. It's gonna be great. We're gonna laugh and be like, oh, remember when we almost, almost lost all that fucking loot that we, we worked hard for? Yeah, remember that? That was fucking hilarious. Here it is. There it is! Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. God! Where is it? No! Oh. Oh my god, I almost had a fucking heart attack, dude. Alright. Oh, that's a, such a relief. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? That's a big guy. That's a big fucking man.
I was about to leave, man. I had the bike, had the fuel. I was out that bitch. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Fucking hammer. Fuck off. Alright. Can I please get the fuck out of here now, please? Thank God, man. Thank fucking God. <sighs> that was so much harder than it had to be. I feel like I'm, I'm like... It's day seven. It's horde day, and I'm fucking exhausted just from that. We got no ammo. I haven't, I haven't upgraded the base pretty much at all. <sighs> Everything just fell apart in the last... The la day, day six was, was terrible was absolutely terrible. This got the bike though. This is gonna make everything easier for us, but my god. Alright, we got one day. We got we got today to prepare as best as we can. I was gonna focus on building the base. Unfortunately, I don't think we have that luxury. Because we are in desperate need of more ammo. This is not enough. 100, 250 is not enough to uh to defend a horde. So, we're probably going to have to go get some fucking ammo. This is so bad. This is so bad. Absolutely terrible. I don't think it could have gone much worse. Um, Alright, there's a gun store right here to the right. You got the shooting range. Okay, we're going to go into the shooting range real quick. And hopefully, we can get a bunch of ammo. This is definitely the worst I've been prepared for a horde. And I've had some pretty average prepara preparations. Uh, they're not nowhere near this bad. This is the worst. Equipment rack, come on. That's good. That's solid. Ammo, ammo, ammo. That's trash. Um, uh, decent, decent, but that's not what I'm after. Hey, drum magazine mod for what? On machine guns? Oh shit. How many bullets did it take before 30, was it? Now 60. Oh, dude, nice. Okay. Oh, is that an airdrop? Oh, please. Where is it? There. Go, 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 go. I appreciate it if you could give me something in this drop that can throw, just, just change the tide a little bit in my favor. Okay, game? Down the road. Keep the speed going. Close, we're close, we're close. <sighs> okay, well. Okay, we're gonna have to go down south. We're gonna have to go down south and go to the fucking trader. Someone took the goddamn crates, man. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I was almost out of time. I looted up as much as I could. I gathered a little bit of ammo, but ultimately I still didn't have enough to survive the horde, in my opinion anyway. So I started heading home and on the way back I spotted a cathedral. Now cathedrals often leave good loot and sometimes you get a large chest at the very top. So I thought I got a little bit of time, maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Maybe if I just go inside, one last look, maybe I can find something. That'll make the difference. This is a big place. There could be something cool here. Okay. I had to be quick. The sun was slowly setting. And now, I was dehydrated. Ow! Ow! Could you please, please, give me a fucking break! I got no stamina, so I can't fucking run. You gotta get home, bro. I need to get more fucking ammo. I really do. I can't even. I, my stamina's gone so fucking slow. Okay. Out of stamina. Out of stamina. It's gonna be worth it. There's gonna be something up here for me. We just need one more bit of loot before Horde. 
One more bit of loot before Horde. Um. Dude, I can't even hit things without fucking up. Okay. Alright. Climb. Climb. Okay. Shame. Food. 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 I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, I might die of dehydration. I need. I need water here. I need water here. I need water here. Yes. Oh, I can't drink it. Shame way. Come on. Dude, there's a large fucking box here. Hang on. Oh, wait a second. I can, I can create a fire. I can create a fire. Dude, there's something good in here. There's gonna be something good in here. This is my survival right here. Fire, fire, fire. I could melt down the snowballs I had in my inventory to create water. It wasn't much, but it was something. Right, we gotta open up this fucking box. Okay. Okay. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Boil it? You don't need to boil it. I got I got the helmet filter on. This is not ideal. I don't think they can get up here though, right? Okay. All right, what's in here? That's it? Are you fucking kidding me? That's fucking it? Fuck this fucking shit. Get the fuck out of here. Down to the. I've got frames. I've got frames. I've got frames. Oh god. Oh. <sighs> See you later, suckers! I'm out of here! The fuck was that sound? Oh shit! Fucking swooping birds! Swooping birds! Ow! Bitch. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, base. It's gotta be close. It's gotta be close. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it vaguely. Come on, baby. Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh, go bird. How? Oh, lag, lag. Oh. Okay. Up, 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 Okay. 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 Piece of fucking shit. We'll fucking go. We'll go. We'll fucking go. What the fuck was that? Oh! What the fuck is that? Shit! <gasps> what the fuck was that? Oh god. Um. Um. 
I have to kill I have to kill it because I can't I can't defend I can't defend from down here. I gotta kill the Grim Reaper. Gotta kill the Grim Reaper. Do I have any fucking meds? Do I have anything to help me here? This ain't gonna help, it's fucking vitamins. Um He's he's breaking. He's breaking, he's breaking, he's breaking, he's breaking. Pumpkin! Fuck off, pumpkin! It ain't Halloween no more! Oh, it is a screamer. You gotta die. You're gonna spawn in more zombies. Die, you! Oh no. Oh no. Why isn't she dying, man? This ain't a normal screamer. Shit. That screamer's insane. I'm gonna kill it. That's, that, that's the fucking, that's the scream that does the green thing. I killed it. Thank God. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Conserve ammo. Conserve ammo. Use pistol. Hold on. I got, fuck, I, got, I got a present for you guys. There they are. Okay. Oh god. There you go! Live it up, boys! Gun's broken. Shit. Anyone else? Anyone else wants something? I haven't fucking great. What the fuck are those? Holy shit! Okay. Did we survive? Hey, we survived. We so su now who the hell said that I wasn't going to make it, huh? Hey, SWAT helmet. There's some juicy loot right there. The OP tower. Whoa! Oh shit, up. Uh, I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm burning. Get up on the fucking ladder! <laughs> Fuck! He's throwing dynamite! Ow! Ow! Fucking devil bird! Fuck, get in the water! <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. 
I'm scared of the next horde. I'm legit scared of the next horde. I haven't been scared of a horde. Like, I'm fucking terrified of the next horde. I'm not joking right now. This tower is good. Like, it was good for tonight. But we need a fucking base next time. This is not gonna cut it. This is not gonna cut it. There's no way. There's no way we survive another fucking horde like that. And the sun is set high.